Okay, I'm going to try to explain the stages of production and then upload this video so you guys can listen to it and then uh, have not only the copy that I gave you in Google Classroom but this video as well. Um, stages of production. Uh, there are three stages of production and they're pretty simple stages to uh, go through. You have stage one, which is increasing returns. Uh, marginal output. Uh, increases with adding uh, another worker. The second stage of production is diminishing returns, which basically means that total output keeps increasing, but the rate of the increase is going down as you add that additional worker. And then you have stage three, which is negative returns. Uh, marginal product becomes negative and decreasing total output, which is something that everybody tries to uh, avoid. Now this is shown in the example in the production schedule. In the production schedule you have a set number of workers, then you have the column that's total product, and then you have the column that's marginal product. And remember from yesterday's notes, total product is just the total output that an organization, a company will produce in a given day, maybe a week or whatever. And then the marginal product is the, the, again the change that you have when you add that additional worker. So in the production schedule, uh, everything in blue is showing increasing returns. So with one worker, you have two total product. The marginal product is just two because you only have that one worker uh, making two items and then finishing up with marginal product of two. You add another additional worker, so now you have two workers. Those two workers combined have a total product of five by the end of the day. So now adding that one additional worker gives you three more uh, objects that you, or, or products that you've uh, produced. And so marginal product is three. Uh, third worker, so you add one more additional person. Those three workers are able to produce 10 total product. Now the marginal product moved from five to 10, which is an additional five products being produced. When you move into stage two, everything is still increasing but the rate of the increase is going down. So when you add the fourth worker, you have a marginal or total product of 14, which still is a positive number, but marginal product is only four, so you have begun going down uh, in your rate of increase. You add a fifth worker or the next additional worker, so you have five, your total product 16, so marginal product is two. You've only gained uh, two more products at the end of the day. And when you add that six worker, which now you get into negative returns, you've only made 15 total product, which puts you at negative one. So when you get into the negative numbers, then you're in the negative returns. Hopefully this helps you uh, with uh, doing this because you will have to do this on the test on Friday.